We all know about pho. It's the most well-known and popular Vietnamese noodle soup. But what about bun ru? Bun ru, Vietnamese crab and tomato noodle soup. I haven't had any in a long time. So today I'm going to visit a couple of spots to rediscover and reconsider this lesser known gem. Come along, let's go. Let me talk briefly about Bun Ru uh, for a few moments uh, before diving in and eating it. It's commonly known as uh, uh, tomato crab vermicelli noodle soup or uh, some variation of that because uh, crab meat is a prominent ingredient as well as tomatoes. Uh, there is a crab cake that is served with it and it's usually made with a combination of crab and pork. Uh, pork uh, is used as a kind of binding agent uh, for the crab. The broth is usually made, at least in the United States, uh, you know, with pork bones of some sort. If you were in Vietnam, traditionally it would be made with patty crabs. It's a small uh, species of crab that is found in the rice paddies in Vietnam. And those crabs are not readily available in the U.S. As I'm looking at this version, I can see that they've offered shrimp. Oh yes, they have pieces of fried tofu and uh, there's some sort of Vietnamese pressed meat. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's a slightly salty, slightly sweet, mostly savory broth. I'm trying to figure out if it's inflected with any kind of seafood. Uh, and uh, there's a distant seafoody flavor, some distant seafoody notes. Let me dig in and uh, get some of the noodles. Oh. Mmm. I noticed the noodles, I'm trying to, they're kind of roundish. Mmm. You know, the, your typical roundish, thin rice noodles. Oh, <laughs> here's, a, here's a piece of tofu. Mmm. Yeah, it's a firm fried piece of tofu, but it, it's porous. It soaks up like a sponge. It soaks up the broth. Let me try some of this, uh, this crab cake. It is very broken up, I noticed. But let me, uh, let me get a scoop full of it and uh, see what it's all about. Mmm. Oh. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, that crab cake is usually made from a kind of mixture of crab and uh, pork. This is very broken up. Sometimes the quote-unquote crab cake is more uh, pronounced in terms of its uh, shape and size. And so it, 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 it comes across as a kind of... Uh, you know, a sizable loaf of meat of one sort or another. This is very broken up. I wouldn't say that it, it you know, it's hitting me over the head with crab flavor. Mmm. <laughs> mm. A very uh, kind of sharp tomato flavor. It looks like a Roma tomato. Or, oh no, maybe it's just a uh, kind of like a sandwich tomato, I think. Let me take a bite of the pressed meat. I don't know exactly what it's called. I've seen it before. Mmm. Yeah. I've never seen it included with bun ryu before, but it has a nice uh, meaty texture and meaty flavor. 
On the side, I got some shredded cabbage, some bean sprouts, some cut up jalapenos, and also uh, some uh, Thai basil. So I'm going to include all of that into the bowl now. Uh, there's also lime wedges, so I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime in here. <laughs> I'm going to agitate it a little bit and uh, <laughs> take, a, take another bite. Mmm. 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 Oh, that peps it up. <laughs> that peps it up also and uh, kind of gives it another dimension of herbaliness. And, uh, ooh, let me, <laughs> let me take a bite with the cabbage. I, I'm sure that'll add a little bit of texture to the noodles. Mmm. And yeah, that is the case. Oh yeah. Let me try one of the shrimp. Mmm. Oh yeah. That is some meaty, fresh, bouncy shrimp. Oh man. This is a good bowl of bun ryu. I haven't had bun ryu in a while. And this is... Mmm. This is hitting the spot. Wow. Oh, there is also some fermented shrimp paste. Uh, I think it's called mom tum. I think it's something like that. Uh, forgive me if I mispronounced it. Uh, you're supposed to add a little bit to the broth and also maybe dip uh, some of the contents into it. Let me, uh, let me add a little bit to the broth and see what that does. Okay, I'm gonna agitate it just a little bit <laughs> and uh, get the shrimp paste flavor kind of uh, incorporated into the noodles and the broth. Mmm, oh. Oh yeah. Oh wow, I would say that's really good. I mean, you don't wanna overdo it because shrimp paste is very strong and it has uh, Certainly the capability of taking over if you use too much, but uh, that small bit that I inserted into the broth was just right because now it has a kind of uh, depth of shrimpiness that kind of really complements the broth and kind of accentuates it. Okay, I'm about to dig into my second uh, Bun Ryu. <laughs> this one is from La Blay, though. I, I think that's the correct pronunciation. La Blay, though. It's here in Springfield, Virginia. And, you know, in, in Northern Virginia, in the Virginia suburbs of the uh, DMV, a lot of places uh, serve Bun Ryu, but uh, La Blay, though, kind of promotes their Bun Ryu, and it's kind of a a specialty slash signature soup there. You know, if you go online and you look at their menu, uh, uh, Bun Ryu is very prominent on the menu uh, and in the pictures that they display. And uh, that isn't often the case. And so, yeah, I'm looking at it now and it looks the part. I notice the one big difference uh, from the previous one I had from Pho 7 and Tyson's is that uh, there are pork riblets in the soup. It comes with pork riblets. There isn't any shrimp. Uh, there aren't, you know, big plump shrimp in uh, this, uh, this version. There's pork riblets. And uh, there are tomatoes, of course. You can't have uh, bun ryu without uh, wedges of tomato. And there is a lot of eggy matter floating on the surface of this soup. 
and uh, yeah, it, it looks very red too. It has a, a, a more prominent red color than the previous one. Okay, let me start uh, with the broth. Oh, mmm. Ooh, whoa. There is some depth in, in that broth. Wow, the first thing I noticed is there is a really prominent seafoody flavor. It is much more pronounced than in the previous broth I had. There's like uh, maybe some like dried shrimp flavor having seeped into the broth or something like that. Uh, uh, you know, the crabbiness, the shrimpiness, or the seafoodiness of it, whatever they used to uh, make that broth is very, very pronounced. <laughs> Let me get a spoonful with the, uh, the eggy matter in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I think that eggy material has crab meat in it. So uh, in lieu of having, you know, the typical or the common pork patty that's, uh, in, that has crab embedded into it, which you find in many versions of Bun Ryu, you know, you have the pork uh, crab uh, mixture that's formed into a little patty. Uh, instead of that, I think the crab uh, meat or the crabby material or the, the strands of uh, uh, crab meat is uh, embedded and mixed into the egg. I think that's what it is. Let me let me just taste it again. Yeah, I think that's what it is because it, it, there's a crab texture uh, intermingled in the egg. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's definitely. Wow. That's what's going on. Let me try some of these noodles. It's very similar to the noodles I had earlier. Mmm. Yeah, it's the rounded, slightly thin, slightly thick, well actually mostly, I would say maybe medium? Medium kind of rice noodles here. Mmm. Again, one of the major differences between this uh, Bun Ryu and the other one I had earlier is the pork riblets. <laughs> Let me try one. Oh, mmm. Oh. Oh. That's really good. Oh, man. They really prepared those riblets to perfection because if they cooked it any longer, the meat would just slip off and it would be kind of overcooked. You still kind of have to scrape the meat off with your teeth and it comes off very easily, but it's not overcooked. It's soft and tender and porky and delicious. Wow, they did a great job with these riblets. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. Is it better to have shrimp or pork in your Bun Ryu? I kind of like having the pork riblets actually because I, I don't know, maybe it's, it just seems to me to be a more hearty, kind of meaty uh, meal when you have the presence of these riblets. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, that tomato I just ate really soaked up that crabby that crabby broth and it just has a nice acidic counterpoint to the crabbiness and that was really good. Mm. Mm. Of course, uh, every Vietnamese noodle soup comes with some side accoutrements and it came with some uh, shredded cabbage and some uh, Thai basil and bean sprouts. And so I put some into my broth and I squeezed uh, some lime into it also. I think typically if you were in Vietnam eating this, it would come with uh, some banana blossom, shredded banana blossom, I think. And of course the shrimp paste, uh, which I didn't get this go around. Uh, yeah, so let me try it with the cabbage and the bean sprouts. Mm. 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 
Mmm, yeah. It certainly adds a textural uh, dimension to the, <laughs> to, to the soup. But quite frankly, I mean, I'm, I'm good without the cabbage, I think. You know, without all that dressing, all that other kind of vegetative uh, secondary uh, ingredients. You know, as I was finishing up my uh, bun ryu from the first spot, uh, Pho 7, I was uh, contemplating whether or not, you know, bun ryu was uh, the second in line after Pho in consideration with uh, bun bo wei, the, a, another popular Vietnamese noodle soup. Uh, and if you're not familiar with bun bo wei, that is a lemongrass inflected broth. It's spicy usually, and it usually has uh, pork trotters and uh, pork blood cubes in the soup. And uh, since I'm not a big fan of pork blood cubes and, uh, and, and pork trotters, in my mind, maybe, you know, uh, Bun Ryu is second because uh, I tend to like pork riblets and uh, shrimp, I think that I would like those better than uh, pork trotters and blood cubes. Although blood cubes uh, do appear in Bun Ryu also, but I didn't find them in either version I had uh, on this episode. I'm enjoying this uh, Bun Ryu. You know, maybe, maybe it will never, you know, displace Pho. Pho is so beloved and so recognized uh, the world over, really. It's, uh, you know, it's the first ambassador of Vietnamese cuisine <laughs> around the world. It is the gold medalist. Uh, maybe Bun Ryu is the silver medalist. <laughs> and uh, uh, Bun Bo Wei is the bronze medalist. At least for me, uh, as I'm sitting here presently... Uh, Maybe you can leave a comment uh, in the comment section to let me know how you feel about it. But uh, well, let me get back to this. <laughs> let me get back to this uh, uh, bun ryu. So I'm glad I got to try some bun ryu today because uh, it deserves attention and it's a good Vietnamese noodle soup in its own right. Uh, you know, I've noted that it's in the shadow of pho, obviously, but it's good and it has its own merits. So yeah, you know, you might want to try some too wherever you are and seek out some bun ryu. <laughs> well, I'll catch you next time on my next food adventure. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>